Who's ready for some 40 rolls? <laughs> We are going to have a busy night tonight. Yep. Um, Nikki is in process of prepping this. It's for our good friend Tay. He's actually leaving tonight. Uh -huh. He called us and he's leaving tonight to go to Virginia. Um, he's moving there, so he needs his bumper tonight. So we're going to fix up his bumper and get it back to him and probably maybe install it in this video, but probably not. I have no idea what the plan he is with that. really shouldn't be installing he it really that shouldn't. quickly. But I'm gonna use a fast hardener on that. Um, I have our, um, I have the diffuser and other pieces that I have to finish for the G37. Ooh. Nikki's gonna wet sand the G37 tonight and finish prep on these wheels for me tonight. So we're gonna be painting like four different things, three or four different things One, tonight. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four yeah. different things. Oh, and the, Audi wheels too that we've been working yeah, on. Yeah, I'll show you guys the Audi. I, I'll show yeah, you guys you the Audi do, wheels. Just move your head. Right there. <laughs> Ding! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be finishing up the prep on those and finishing the curb rush. I'll show you guys what I'm gonna be doing with that. But otherwise, Paul's gonna be in the booth most of the night. I'll get some good shots of him doing that. He wants to show me how to paint. He wants to actually like, I know how to kind of paint, but she knows how to prime. She knows how to use the gun and how to like manage it. Man, it's hard to sit like this. Ow! Look how, look how we're sitting. <laughs> I'm sitting like on the ground. <laughs> God, my feet hurt. <sighs> like bending your feet, you know, after a while, it like really starts to hurt. So yeah, I'll get to, I'll try to get some good clips of Paul in the booth tonight. Um, there's gonna be a lot for him to paint. But yeah, uh, we'll get to it and that's pretty much it. Yep, she's gonna work on this bumper now and I'm gonna go paint. Yep. these parts came out for the G37. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I give it a month if they do. 
No, I, I give it way longer than a month because me and Al can fight all we want, except we still get along at the know. end of the day. I'll we don't live. Like I'm going to my room. It's like a girl. You just like stop paying attention. Cause Al's a bitch. I got that right as you were tripping. <laughs> You got a little bit of hardener in there, huh? I got a lot. Oh my gosh. I'm so deep seated. So the more hardener you have, the quicker you gotta work because the faster it's gonna harden up. Oh, I already feel it. Wow, I feel it. Well, that's probably because of the dust that's still in it. Probably a little on these over here. So I am working on getting these nice and smooth. I put a light coat of icing on them and I'm about to sand them down. So all the curb rash will be gone. All right, so I'm currently in process of cleaning the insides of these before we sand them. Um, I'm using spray gun cleaner. Uh, it's basically very similar to brake cleaner. You can just use brake cleaner. Um, after that, you don't want to either scrape that off or um, use some, like you could use this if you wanted to, but I'm probably either just going to use an eraser wheel or scrape it off with some razor, with a razor blade. And then we're going to sand the insides of these with probably 320 and 400 and they will be ready to paint. side detour um, we're continuing up with this thing um, as you can see what I'm doing is using a fiberglass stripper to strip all this old fucking clear coat off this thing um, I don't know if you can tell but even after this thing gets wet it still has all those fading marks um, I started to hit the whole thing with 220, 320, and try to strip the clear off that way. Um, but even after it was still getting wet, it was having those like bleach spots. I don't know what's going on there, but we have it completely stripped down almost all the way to bare resin. Um, and it's still giving us issues. So I'm not really sure. Um, I think we're gonna put a little bit of black um, tint in the clear coat. Um, the first coat of clear to kind of darken out the coat a little bit and hopefully that'll kind of hide all of that. Um, so we'll see, we're going to do our best with it. It's at least going to be glossy and perfect, but somebody really <laughs> fucked it up. Good? Dude, the shop you? looks good. Good man, I miss you. you guys. Hardcore. Sorry, I've been gone so long at Cloudy. I know, that's dope. So Paul has finished prepping the WRX hood. Um, it's really hard to tell, but it is carbon fiber. I don't know how it's gonna go, but I have faith in Paul that he's gonna make it look really good. But I mean, wow. This is just bad. Whoa! Whoa!
see the carbon fiber and still like if you really look you can kind of see like little waves where those deep ass scratches were that those people did who decided to fuck it up the first time but I'd say we brought it back to life. What I think, think you did an amazing job. And the boys are working on the fenders for the S2000. Do I take it in a little bit more? Right? They're trimming it on the side. Yeah, a little bit. Like. So the wheels don't hit the over fenders. stupidest things to use. Why don't you use a grinder? <laughs> That'd be horrible. Really? The cup, the, yeah, the cut would be booty. Are you using the uh, Dremel? hour Dremel? Mm -hmm. Maybe that one's just too powerful for those it things. It is. And mine's broken, so um, therefore... Going with these bad boys. Gotta go with the big boy. Man, that thing is chewed up. Yeah. Over fenders. But that's why it's here. Whoa! It's because it shakes like that. We have a way. It broke to... again. He keeps breaking it because it keeps vibrating. We have a way to hold this down. All right, guys. I am going to get started. You can't hear me because of the air compressor, but I'm going to get started on wet sanding the G37. Honestly, it looks insane. I love this car, but we have like a few little tiny. Thomas over there on the grinder. I'll wait till he's done. Well, look at that. that actually looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to get started wet sanding this. Um, I'm gonna get a light on this, but there is a little bit of a sag in the driver's door, oh, yeah. so I'm going to be getting that out. You can't see it right now, but I will get a good. This guy. This guy over here. So yeah, I'm gonna get a light on that and show you guys what I'm doing, but I can't hear anything, so bye.
Look at that. That looks so good. That trunk is amazing. Yeah, I kind of want to get a carbon fiber trunk for the G35. <laughs> There's a duck bill one for a hundred bucks right now. Oh, I'd buy that. I'll mold it into the trunk. Yeah, right there's fine. I think I found your new calling. You should be washing windows, not painting cars. Right? <laughs> not quite. <laughs> Shit, look at that. I think I should stick <laughs> Alright, yeah, cars. actually, never mind. <laughs> so it'll focus. Oh, fuck. Oh, wow. Look at that. Yeah, I need to stick paint. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Voila. This thing looks so good. How happy are you with this? I'm very, very fucking happy. That looks sick! What do you think? That looks good. I think I want a G37 now. <laughs> right? Stuck in there forever. Not yet, right now. Yeah, it's gonna it's sliding the two by fours out a little bit. Just go, I mean, get the beans. <laughs> it's gonna burn up. to the camera. How do these work? Oh. Ow. That's weird. 